it's Denzel. I am doing another tutorial. It's been a while since I've done one, but I've been using this trick for about a year now. I find it really effective in certain situations. So I call it the filter reverse effect. So just to let you hear what it sounds like before I show you, I took a piece of Dave Fox's session from the imaging days, which was on in Amsterdam. So have a listen to this effect. Imaging Days 2016. So just to even isolate the filter reverse, which I've done, here we go. There you go. So basically, what that is, is a filter and a reverse reverb in one. So it's using the built-in air filter plugin, which I will show you here. The filter gate with a few settings on it. And I destructively did reverse reverb on Dave Fox's part. So just to show you what I did, I've got it separated on two tracks. Because for automation purposes, I didn't want to have the filter gate on his full track. So just to let you hear, if I did put it on his full track, I'll just move that down. I'll put it in anywhere just so you can hear it. Um, it would sound like this. Now, it can be cool for certain situations. The Imaging Days 2016. That can be kind of cool for vocal layering stuff, but we don't want to do it in this situation. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original reverse what I've done. So all I did was, it's the usual, I did a duplicate of the track onto the filter track. And literally all I did to get this filter on was I literally just set up those and this is a, a session I use. So I just picked the, you can even pick the first syllable. Um, I don't know, how much do we want? Will we go for maybe a bar worth of it? So if I even just line these up even more properly, maybe a bar is too long, but what I'll do is I'll just line these up properly so it is a bar. And as you can see, the sync points are on there. Um, so I'll just pick the first syllable here. I'm going to use a bar. Go into the audio suite. Now my favorite reverse reverb plugin, well reverb plugin, is the true verb. And obviously this is a mono track, so I want to use mono. By default, I'm just going to use one of my favorite presets, which is the Lard Concert 2. I always turn off early reflections, I just think it gives this kind of unwanted sound. So then I'll just reverse it. There you go. So this is what it sounds like without the filter gate on it, right? I am, um, oh, excuse me, no, don't be on that me now. Apologies, I keep doing that, bypass. Right, so that's bypass now. So this is what it sounds like with them. Um, with it on its own. I'm going to delete this part here. So very nice effect. Yeah, perfect. But with the filter get on, this is what you can make it sound like. There you go. So, it has a very nice stereo effect on it. The way I've set it up is this is kind of what I've set it up with. I've got the pattern set to LL or or left, left, right, right. So it kind of gives you that nice stereo effect. The mix isn't at 100% because it, otherwise it's just going to sound like ridiculous. Um, then I put it in HP mode. Pretty much everything else then is standard. Um, and yeah, that's what I do. And then the final product, which I will let you hear now. Now, generally, I would always pan or fade that out there. If you don't really want that. It'll give you kind of a, a duplicate sound. Imaging Days 2016. And once that's behind tracks and stuff like that, you can get a really nice effect. Um, and then you can just you fade it in wherever you want. You could have it at several bars and, and stuff like that. So that's my um trick on the VO filter, which I have it set up in here. So other than that, it's just basic. Um, I've got a very good, it's only in the mid-range pretty much on the EQ. Everything else is pretty much um, kind of taken out. Basic compressor. Uh, basic limiter, sorry, that's the deesser, and then we go through a very harsh limiting. But then again, you can play around with that. But if I brought it down like that, it's probably going to sound very low. Yeah, it's much lower where when it's down here. There you go. And yeah, yeah. So that's the the trick. Hopefully, you like it. Um, let me know in the comments.